Hello everyone, today we have a, um, a BMW, I believe it's a 2006 325. Um, the entry computer was messed up, so um, they had to get a new entry computer and they wanted to program it to the car, but it was used, so they can't really do much about it. So, um, what we want to do right now is that um, we took off the CAS 2 module of the car. Basically, it is this one right here. I automated connections. I will get clear with that with you guys very soon. Basically, I took off the um, the circuit board off the immobilizer box, and um, I'm going I'm going to be renewing uh, this CAS module since the original engine computer cannot communicate and I cannot write the ISN number into it. So basically, we're gonna adapt this one, um, the, this original module original cast module the mobilizer module to this new um, or used um, engine computer okay let's go ahead and start all right so first thing you want to do is we need to read the EEPROM of the uh, immobilizer we're gonna go to programmer first that is that's how I like to do it I believe you can also do that directly from the um, immobilizer section as well you can feel free to do the way you like it we're gonna go to chip EEPROM and um read ship and write and we're gonna go to um immobilizer section we're gonna go to bmw and we do have a cast 2 module with this mask and it will say it right on top of this right here i'm not sure if you guys can see it from there yeah a little bit that's the mask number on a motorola mpu okay we're gonna select that and um okay and um we're gonna go to eprom and you can go to that schematic diagram. Sometimes it takes a little while to load up. It's gonna download the file. I'm it's already downloaded. It will show you all of the um, wiring that you have to do all the connections, which I did already, as you see in here. There's also another one, that green wire going to the back. Uh, it's connected to another um, point on the back. So let's try to read the um, EEPROM. So um, in the EEPROM, as you see, we're gonna do read. don't have any problem with the connection you should read it here we go we have it that's the EEPROM file hex decimals for that car for the immobilizer all of your uh, key information everything is in here okay so we're going to save this one let's put a name on it cast tool yep we can just leave it like that I will remember that and it's gonna be in the user data programmer as you see okay so save it and now um, I'm gonna get out of here completely Okay, let's, we're gonna go back to the immobilizer section. Get out, okay. We go to immobilizer section now. We're gonna go to, I mean, we're gonna accept it. We're gonna go to BMW. Hang on a second guys, I'm sorry about that. Don't mind it saying the VCI is not connected because I do not need it at this point. We're gonna go to ECU Renew. We're gonna go to Immobilizer Control Unit, and we're gonna cast. Uh, we're gonna hit on this Cast to Renew, and we're gonna go to this one. That's our mask number. If you guys remember, that's on the Motorola, Motorola chip. Okay, and um, as I said, you could actually read and write it from here. If I press in here, you see, but it's not. It, and then you can actually get the wiring diagram right through here as well. Okay, it's the same thing I just did. Okay, so um, we're not gonna be in this section. We're gonna go to the new section. Okay, so it's asking us to um, provide it, provide it, uh, the hotel with an EEPROM file. Okay, so um, let's go in here. Click OK. And we're going to go, you see that right over here? It's not in here. So you know what? Maybe we might as well just um, cancel this and read it again right through here. Um, sorry about that. Um, let's go in here. Let's go back in here. You see you renew. Immobilize the control unit. 
okay and um we're gonna go to cast to renew and we're gonna go here again i guess easy your operation since i have already all the i would have made all the connections i can just put in here read eprom we're gonna read it one more time so it's gonna be the directory that i want it to be As you see, by the way, my uh, XP400 is connected. It was a lot quicker with the other section, but I guess it is what it is. So, um, okay, so let's save this file the way it is. I will remember that, okay? That's the original one, basically. We're gonna create a new file now. So let's go back. Let's go back again. Let's go to Renew. Okay, and let's find our file, which was this one, correct? There we go. All right, so, um, okay. So I'm gonna put the information of the car, okay? Uh, I'm gonna put the information of the car and I'm gonna continue, guys. Okay, everyone, I just typed in all the information for the vehicle. This is basically the, um, the um, this is basically that four digit um, ISN code is from the new computer. Like I said before, we do not have any communication with the old computer, and we and um, it's completely busted. It was all over water, completely all over it. So we basically have to um, write the VIN number of the um, uh, donor vehicle's um, VIN number and its um, ISN number and the 350 megahertz. That's the um, basically the key frequency. Okay, and um, I'm gonna say okay, and it's gonna save this file for me. Okay, so uh, as you see, I have the same file number and it just says renew, okay? I'm gonna save that in the same location, all right? So it saves successfully now. Please write the newly saved EEPROM file back to the CAS module. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're gonna go to ECU operation and we're gonna do write EEPROM, okay? We're gonna select the file. Uh, basically, this is the file we just made, if you guys remember, renew one, yes. And it's gonna go ahead and write that file right into that new um i'm right into that um, um immobilizer or the cast tool module whatever you want to call it as you see the xp 400 is working right here okay as you see write it promise successfully so this job is done right now basically we're gonna uh, put the new computer into the end uh, to the car and we're gonna plug in the um we're gonna plug in this module back in uh, our pro only problem is going to be most likely we might have to reprogram a key to this vehicle. If it did not, if it didn't delete the uh, keys, sometimes it deletes it, sometimes it does not. So I'm not really sure. But just in case I have another key, I might have to program it to it. But that's all about it, guys. Right now, this um, basically this engine module, engine control module, and that um, immobilizer are matched up. Okay, and that's it, guys. I hope this one help. This thing helps somebody. Thank you guys so much for watching if any guys if you guys have any question you can leave it um, bottom in the comment uh, section and below i'll be more than happy to help you guys out enjoy the rest of your day